Hello, my name is Katie Carroll and I am a proud volunteer of the YWCA. And today I'd like to read a story to you. It's named Third Story Cat. And the author, the person that wrote the book is Leslie Baker. So it looks like this is the story of a kitty cat. Maybe a kitty cat that lives on the third floor. What do you think? Let's find out. Look, it looks like there are some apartment buildings here. Maybe the kitty cat lives. Oh, I see a kitty cat right up there. Can you see right there? Well, let's see what happens. We're right. Alice was a third story cat. She lived in a small apartment in the city with a girl named Annie. Every day, Alice would look out the window and wish that she could visit the park across the street, even just once. Maybe you've been to a park before, huh? Well, one spring day, Alice got her chance. Annie had left the kitchen window open just a bit. Alice squeezed through without anyone seeing her. She was free. Of course she went, she's on the third story, remember? Carefully, she crept along the narrow ledge. It was hard to keep her balance in the strong wind. Alice stopped short. Her path was blocked by a window box full of geraniums. Geraniums are these pretty red flowers right here. <gasps> Look, there's a butterfly. She tiptoed through them and almost lost her balance when she saw that butterfly. It rose from the flowers and it startled her. And look down on the ground are some pigeons. Sometimes we see those in the city too. Alice kept going until the ledge came to an end. The street looked very far away. What would she do? Well, Alice bravely leaped onto the roof of the building next door. She's getting closer. As she landed, oh, she frightened a small bird taking a puddle bath. Alice was tempted to stay and look a little more and investigate the bird, but then she heard something rustling in a nearby tree. Oh, look, right there. It was a tiger cat sitting on a branch. He winked at Alice and disappeared into the leaves. Curious, Alice followed him down the tree. She's getting down further. <gasps> down on the ground, the two cats became acquainted. They made friends. And then off they went across the street and through the park gates. Alice had reached the park at last, look how happy she looks. Happily, she rolled in the flower beds and the girls here are playing ball and they're watching and they're giggling at the pretty sight. Alice had a wonderful time. She followed the tiger cat to the fountain where they stopped to fish. And then they prowled around some people finishing lunch and they found the perfect picnic under a bench. Perhaps those ladies had some pieces of the lunch that they had left there, and the cats thought that was delicious. The two cats paraded past the grandmothers, hoping that they would get stroked. They wanted to be petted. And look, then they joined those girls. They joined some children playing marbles. That looks like fun. After their jaunt, Alice decided to take a sun bath. Her friend wasn't tired and he played tag with some squirrels. While resting, Alice heard an angry noise. A big dog had come out of the bushes and was growling at the tiger cat. What's gonna happen? Well, Alice was frightened and ran the other way, but the dog spotted Alice and chased after her nipping at her tail. Over and over, round and round they went until Alice escaped by jumping onto its statue. The dog ran in circles, barking at her. Woof, woof, woof. By the time the dog finally gave up, it was getting dark. 
Alice jumped down and began to head home. And on her way out of the park, she looked for the tiger cat, but he was nowhere in sight. Alice crossed the street and climbed back up the tree, and there at the top was her friend. He winked at her, and she twitched her tail in response, and she hurried on. Alice leaped back onto the rooftop and then to the ledge, stepped through those pretty flowers, the geraniums, and at last she could see her window. <gasps> but it was closed. Meow, meow, she meowed loudly. And Annie's worried face appeared at the window. She had been searching everywhere for Alice. Where have you been, Annie asked as Alice hopped inside. Alice just purred. She was glad to be a third story cat again. At least for now. Do you think maybe she'll go back again? She did have a good time, didn't she? And that's the story of the third story cat. Bye-bye.